And if your Thanksgiving Day meal is not turning out exactly as you hoped, we have some help for emergency situations. We've got solutions for the top five Thanksgiving meal emergencies. Jolie Ori Bailey with Low Country Cuisine <laughs> is with us. So, okay, let's start with number one, the turkey. And we've had this problem. It's not entirely thawed and it's ready to go in the oven. Right. So if that happens to you, turkey's not thawed, what you want to do, first thing, clear a sink in mm -hmm. your kitchen, clean it out. Place your turkey in the sink, and this bowl is representing the sink. The sink, okay. Mm -hmm. And you want to put cold water, cover the bird. Not hot water, not warm water, but cold, cold water. Cold water, okay. Yes, hot water will raise the bacteria. You don't oh, want okay. bacteria to okay. start growing. So cold water, you cover it? You mm -hmm. do it cover it. Uh -huh. okay. And you repeat that process every 10 to 15 minutes until it's completely thawed out. Right. Oh. And then you just pat it dry and continue on with your recipe. But you want to think about that a little bit before it's crunch time. Exactly. Right, before exactly. the oven's warming up. Exactly. Okay, our number two is dry turkey. I always hate that because you, you're so proud of your turkey and then you taste right. it and you're like, oh, that, right. didn't, that didn't work out. Nobody wants a dry turkey, but I have a solution for you. So, what you want to do if the turkey is dry mm -hmm. is just slice the turkey, put it in a shallow casserole pan okay. here, and single layers is important. And then you just want to cover the whole thing with chicken broth or even some broth from the turkey. Okay. And cover it and make sure all the um, pieces are moistened. Okay. And then you want to cover it with foil like we have here and stick it in a 250 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. And while that's happening, you can carve the rest of your turkey and then they'll both be ready to eat. Oh, so right. it'll be moist and nice. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this one. Sometimes it's, it's very important, especially, and I love those little pop-up thermometers. Right. They're not foolproof. You right. still need to check the temperature and sometimes you're waiting, you're waiting. The thing looks like it gets done on the outside, but on mm -hmm. the inside, the thermometer is telling you, not quite, lady. Right, exactly. So if your turkey's been in the oven for as long as your recipe requires and you stick it in the thigh and it's not coming up to 165, 170, 99% of the time, it is equipment failure. Okay. So you want to get a pot of boiling water, and once it starts boiling, you pull it off the heat, stick your thermometer in there, and if that temperature doesn't come up to a boiling mm -hmm. temperature, then it's probably your thermometer. Then you know something's wrong. Yep. Okay. So to check it, you just cut into that thigh, which mm -hmm. takes the longest to cook. And if the juices run clear, then you're clear Good to, to go, go ahead then, and have a turkey. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay. Love mashed potatoes for, oh, uh, yeah. for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people try to make them from scratch, right? So they'll get gummy if they put in too much liquid or if they overmix it. Right. So I have a solution. You want to spray a casserole dish, right? And then you want to spread the mashed potatoes out evenly. And from there, go ahead and put on some breadcrumbs. And then you want to put some Parmesan. And then a little parsley as well for flavor and color. And then just a little, some dots of butter. All Put right. it in the oven 350 degrees and this is the finished product. No more gummy mashed potatoes. And then you have this this sauce that's supposed to be very good that's going to fix things, right? What is this? Right. Butter makes everything better. It oh, covers yeah. all sins, doesn't it? It, it covers <laughs> all sins. And so what you want to do, we have a sweet sauce that you can use for dessert. But I'm going to show you real quick a three ingredient butter cream sauce. So you want to take about uh, half a cup of butter here, which we've already started. And then we already have some of the heavy cream in there, but a pint of heavy cream. Once the butter melts, put in the cream and you let it reduce. You can use, add some salt and pepper. You can use this sauce on turkey, mashed potatoes, and Yum. that'll take care of that dry turkey. And butter just made everything better. Terrific. We've got a link and more information on uh, myfoxdfw.com. Thanks. Thank you.